There's one more thing you can do with this dish. You can actually turn it into shrimp scampi, make it a little more fancy. But in order to show you how to do that, we're gonna have to rewind. Okay, so I've got these great pink Florida Keys shrimp. I'm gonna clean these shrimp real quickly and cook them up. Do the olive oil with the garlic and the chili peppers, that's all sitting there, ready. So you're gonna peel off the shells. And remember, this can all be done while your pasta's cooking. Obviously, we're not gonna use this entire thing with me peeling the shrimp. I think for two portions, we want eight, right? Now we're gonna de-vein the shrimp. This is one of the reasons I like to do shrimp at home as opposed to ordering in a restaurant, because I know I've deveined it myself. What you're gonna do is you can do a slice right along the back there. You're gonna pull that open. And there is that nasty little vein, which isn't a vein at all. It's actually poo. But here's the thing, we're cleaning it out. You wanna make sure that you get this whole vein out, because then you can really enjoy the yumminess of it without being totally grossed up. And I'm gonna rinse them off. And I have its own little cutting board over here so that it can dry on there. Now I'm going back to the sink to wash my hands with soap. This is a pan that we have the um, garlic and chili peppers in. We're gonna, whoa! We're gonna move it over to the back of the stove. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, okay. So, we're gonna have that pan here. Just a little bit of olive oil, maybe two tablespoons. And I do need a little bit of garlic. Don't need too much because you've got the garlic from the pasta, but you do wanna be able to flavor your shrimp. I'm not even gonna chop this. I'm just gonna peel it and put these cloves in whole. And I'm gonna warm up my oil. I'm gonna throw my garlic into the olive oil. I'm gonna wait until that heats up just a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm gonna juice a lemon. I have this handy dandy little juicer that my mother-in-law gave me, who is like the most amazing gadget buyer ever because it keeps the seeds out. And you can tell how much lemon juice you use. So, or you can spill it all over your parsley. So I've got two tablespoons. I'm just gonna leave that on the side and I'm gonna just toss our shrimp in here. See how they're translucent? Cooked shrimp are translucent. And you wanna make sure to cook shrimp. Don't ever eat raw shrimp. And they do cook rather quickly. Rinsing! Let's taste our pasta again, see how we're doing. It's bang love. I think we're gonna be right on time. And I think we're ready to finish off our shrimp. Hang on. All right, see how this is still translucent here? You don't want that. You want it to look like this, okay? Make sure it's cooked. All right, so let's finish off this sauce. Two tablespoons right over the shrimp. Then, just for a little secret added thing, I'm gonna grab one of my favorite ingredients, butter. You don't have to use a ton, because again, we're using olive oil in the dish, but a tablespoon and a half. And I'm just gonna throw that in, and I'm gonna turn the burner off as soon as I put the butter in, and just let it melt right over the shrimp. And now let's plate our dish. We're gonna pour our olive oil and chili peppers into our pasta. Wash our dish. Parsley. I am ready for some pasta. Let's put our shrimp on there. This is a 10 minute dish. This took as long as it did to make the pasta. We're gonna dress it with the rest of the parsley. And then I've got all this yummy butter sauce in here, put a little bit of extra parsley in here, and I'm just gonna put this on the side in case somebody wants to do a little dipping. So look at that nice sauce. All right, let's taste it. So there you have it. One more thing, shrimp scampi. Hi, it's Michelle. Thanks for watching Six Things, more or less. If you enjoyed what you saw today, give us a like, maybe share it on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. And... <laughs> You had one sip of wine. And hit the bell. And hit the bell. And hit the bell to be notified of future episodes.